Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Today we'll be talking about text formatting in HTML. So when we say text formatting, what do we mean? We mean um, designing text, designing different elements that can be on a website. It just like, for instance, like all this Microsoft Word. If you want to format a text, you can either bold, italics, hard color, do background color. All those stuff are called text formatting. So we can actually achieve them too on HTML because there's something you need to know that HTML do not understand use of normal language because it has its own language and all these text formatting codes are very 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 simple to know like we said every of our code that has to show on our website will be in between this body please to take note of that so it's going to be in between our body so now we have talked about both and the and the tag for bold is B. So starting tag B and end the tag B. So we want to start another one. So we want to if the starting if the um, the tag for bold is B, what should the tag of italics be? Or well, say you want to italics a text, it will probably be high. So let's say I want to italics something called probably let's say Iomide and I save let us see the effect of this Iomide in our page so yeah this Iomide you can see that it's italics because we have told the HTML code that okay this Iomide should be italics okay I would prefer to split this this screen so that we'll be able to see most of our code side by side so applying them we'll be seeing them side by side sorry let me just try and do that better and then the same thing should happen to this guy yeah yeah good yeah so we have our code here and uh, also we have our page here so me whatever we are adding here will preview here so then we have had italics like i said this is the starting tag for italics and this is the end tag of italics so whatever we want this italic effect to have uh, effect will be in between the starting tag and end tag of the tag this is italics tag we have put i made it in between so if we only want io to be italics we will not end it here we we'll probably go and end it where the io ends so only the io is in between the 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 italic tag so if you can see you can see that it's only io that has the italic effect the media doesn't have so the same way we can still go back and see hard sorry and still hard the effect then we save all the io media has effect so let's add more full text formatting there's another one called u which is underline let's say we want to underline um, let's say we want to underline hmm, Razak so when we save we can see that how Razak is underlined we have lot 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 more so let's talk about more of them there's another one called del it means delete so probably want to delete something that let's say mathematics and we save can see that there's this crap around this mathematics is telling us that we are deleting this step. probably we are at, we are talking about an information that okay this is not the this thing no. this is not the right thing and the right thing is this so there's another tag called mark that mark is this so this is just going to highlight that particular text that you write in between for instance let me add let me add um, English I will see you can see that there is an highlight of yellow there that's what the mark does so it make it it highlight it maybe we are saying this we are not talking about mathematics here we have striped it off then we want English that is why it puts the mark and this one is mark like as the name implies mark it gives you mark to a particular to a particular element that you had in here so if this mark like i said whatever you wanted to the mark effect to start from start here whenever i want it to end be here for instance let's see 
we want to well we want everything from Iomidi from Iomidi uh, from Acotech, Iomidi Razak, Mathematics and English you have man. So I will start the mark here and I'll end the mark here. Meaning everything here are inside this mark. So all of them are going to have the mark effect. When I see it, you can see that everything has mark effect here. Can you see? Everything has have mark effect because everything here are inside the mark, inside the starting tag and the ending tag of mark. So if you don't want it that way, let's go back to giving only English save so you can see only english one. so that is the concept of tag and text formatting where you your starting tag uh, and ending tag your content should be in between your starting tag and ending tag if it's outside the ending tag the effect is not going to appear to hit so another tag is called paragraph it's used p so paragraph is used to divine a new paragraph a new line probably you want to go to another line of code for instance now if you notice you see that despite we using um, enter to go to another line in our code it's not affecting yet why because html did not understand that we are adding enter into another line because html also have its own tag so for instance now there's something called paragraph this paragraph will take us to another line probably i want to write something like this is our new para so when we see it's going to start on a new paragraph you can see it went to another line so if you want another one on another line we probably see the paragraph and say um my name is Akotek. when i see it, it's in another line so the more we want more lines more line will be adding more paragraph more paragraph more paragraph more paragraph so like i mentioned before i said um um, now there's starting tag and there's ending tag so this is the starting tag for this paragraph and this is the ending tag of this paragraph so all the content we want are inside this paragraph because we want the paragraph effect to affect all the text we have inside this paragraph so let's talk about um, standalone tag there are some tag called standalone tag that you don't need to add an ending tag to them you just write a you just write the tag and that is all you don't need to hand them you know like we have both we hand it here using slash we have high we hand it here using slash we have this and it here using slash there are some tag called stand alone tag so they will probably work without having this thing so i'll just make mention of two of them they are not much let me just make mention of two of them for instance there is a tag called break break is is a tag to make this particular thing go to another line probably we want this one should be only in this line i want all these things to come here this one should come here this one should come here you just had the tag br here inside our code i will have br here inside our code so the tag for break is br for instance we want this one only this line we had br sorry that is on caps br and c you can see that all these things have break only this one will break because we have br here this one will break or that will come down if i still want another behavior here i'll probably still put behavior and see if that one too will come you can see it come down too so let's still add another behavior here you see it's still come down too so br is working like enter when you're working on microsoft word and you're eating enter the more enter you are eating the more space that will be in between your text for instance if you still want more behavior and we have i had another behavior I will see you can see that there's more space in between the more beer we put the more they are going down the more they are going down. just like eating enter when you are working on microsoft word that's exactly how it's working so that is behavior we just want only one beer there so another tag that can be in that account that is a standalone tag is hr hr means horizontal line and horizontal line we write we draw a line from the starting page to the handy from the start from the left hand side to the right hand side we're going to scribe it straight like this so for instance let's say we want to use a line to demarcate apotec and i am they want the line in between here to go like this another line to be here another line to be here so we are going to write our h half here h half that's horizontal line when we see 
it's going to give us an horizontal line can you see that can you see that so if you want more hr add another hr please sorry i would be a hr you can see it's a written another hr so we we'll want another hr to save it has written on that HR. We want another HR. We have written on another HR. So if you can see all this time, you can see that we just write them. We didn't hand them because um, they are standalone tag and the ways they work doesn't really need us to put the starting tab. They are not effect. They are just performing a simple um, operation like, okay, just take this to another line. That is it. You are just going to put the br where you want the line to break from from this and probably inside this paragraph check this paragraph now say this is our paragraph probably i want this place to break i want this hour to be on the page and new paragraph should be on another line so we just have to be how in between it like this and we say see so you can see that this is our it's on our line and this is our so this br have break this one from this one this one go to another page and this one remain in that particular page anywhere we want to have the break we can have it probably we want it here we can have the break here we we'll see if you can see this is our this is our new the paragraphs on one line you can see this is our new and the paragraphs on that because i've had it a break here and the break will break it from wherever i put it here i hope you understand the concept so that is the concept of standalone tag we can see hr whatever we want the hr in fact it might not be in between text, it might just be HR ordinary. For instance, let me add HR here. You can see HR. The more lines you want, the more HR. Let me add another one, another one, another one. Let's count one, two, three, four. Now we see. You can see one, two, three, four. The more lines you want, it might be in between lines, it might be in between image, it might even be ordinary. So just like this, the more HR you'll be adding, the more lines that you are going to have on your documents. So it's something very simple and a bit that is not even logical at all, just simple stuff that we need to talk about. So those are some of our text formats. Like you can see now, we are editing our text list. We are editing them. So now let's talk about another text format. Then. There's another one called, um, we have talked about bold. However, there are some texts, there are some text formatting that you probably do not, will not need later on. They are just um, there. We understand because they have another thing you can use to replace them for instance let's talk about emphasize the tag for emphasize is em and let's wrote uh, let's write um, at the group accurate rashid <laughs> so there is save i can see that it's it's more like an italic effect and let's add another one. Let's write italic. This italic from what is high have it that is the tag for italic and we'll put it in between. Let me see. You can see that they are almost not too different. These are italics and these are emphasized. They are almost not different. So there are some tags that are just working. They are that they are they are working almost like the same thing. So you don't necessarily need to cram all the old text and all the old text formatting code or whatever. So the ones you know you can you can still have in your head. Let me give you another example of what I just did. Another one is strong. Strong will make your text look kind of bold. For instance, let's say you want to write matrix matrix. I will say you can see that it's bold. Let me not add the tag for bold as we wrote as B. I will write the same matrix. matrix and let me see if you can see that this is strong and this good and they are almost like this they are even the same thing not almost they are the same thing so strong and bold are doing the same so you can choose to use any of them it's not compulsory to use one so there are some tags that are actually working in touching the on html so now let's move forward so there's another tag and um, let me use let me give you the last example for example we talk about deal here deal means delete it will stripe off like this one is stripe off there's another one that you can actually use it is called stripe strike rather sorry guys the caps strike and we, we want to say let's say multi 
automatic sound receive you can see that this 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 is a deal and this track they are working the same way they are doing the same thing so it's not necessarily mean to cram everything up there so you, if you notice as we are writing our code it's going it's going it's going it's going the more we are writing it's going, it's going so if you don't want that to happen on vs code all you are going to do is to you use the alternative button plus uh, enter on your keyboard just it no sorry alternative body and z so just hit this just press this together on your keyboard let me do this like this one you see that it's going in here so when i press the alternative you can see that instead of going in it come down so it's it's good to code like this so that you'll be seeing everything you are writing instead of going in, in, in you have to be scrolling up and down so you just use alternative plus z so it's going to bring your code back in a particular line go to scribe them so let's move on i'll talk about the kind of the comparison between some tags on html and all this kind of stuff now there's another tag called is sorry insert so let's write um manual just using a random word you can see that insert is more like underline look at this underline here which is you here you can see that and you can see this insert too. you can see that they look like the same thing <laughs> so there are some there are some tasks that are working interchangeable depending on the one you are more distant to so now let's move forward probably we want to talk about another one another tag called sub and sub so sub, uh, and subscribe and subscribe something like that so for instance how does this sub these are the sub and sub so so these two these two classes work in a way that probably you want to do something that will make your code let's see you want to like say okay a good example is maybe you want to grade some people and you want to say the first position you know that when you write one the st will be at the top of that one that is how sub work that's how sub because you, you think about it that this sub is going up you understand and this sub when it is sub something that goes below or something interchangeable so let's give a good example probably i want to write one that is the first position and the, the one we want to be at the top to be st right and let's see we can see what it was one and the effect of st is done by this sub so you take it at the top of the initial text that you wrote like i wrote one outside the tag and this st in between the tag because this is what i want the effect to appear so you can see it here st another one is second this one will go down as the sub go up the sub will go down sub up sub down for instance second and i say c you can see this these two stand alone and the s and d go like that so, and so on and so forth so that is how this sub and this sub that's how they actually works i hope you understand that part okay. so now another one is let's talk about um, code and let's write this is our code tag and let's see you can see it write itself as if you are using typewriter eh? like you are using typewriter to write that is the effect of code like um, like a computer then um, and text font you understand so look at it here it's it's called code you can use it to to do some it depends on whatever you want to use this for do you understand that part so now let's move forward and that is code and this is what code does imagine you want to break this this half first and second and we want this this is our code to be on another line what are we going to do is that we give this a paragraph or we just had break here which is be half so it's going to take it to another line bam that's it it's taking to another line so that's exactly what we have what we have been explaining here so i i think um let me go forward let me end this video now so that we will not have too much video 
then um, we'll talk about um, we'll see continue about our text formatting on the next video thank you very much for watching